taken over a year really to, to, to do this record. There are a few songs we've tried and tried and tried to mould into shape and sound great but they just do not fit on this record and that's the, that's the important part of this record that there is continuity and cohesion to it which is something that might have been lacking on other records possibly. It was a plan that we had just to make it the best it could be. Above there are no stars tonight, just northern skies, reflected light upon your face. And because we were working with Guy and Craig, um, that was the only that was the only benchmark. And when Craig and I heard their music this time round, when we heard these songs, we couldn't not be involved. It's just too important, it's just too good. They'll do all right. When I was a child It's been a pleasure just putting them together and it almost feels like some, it's almost feels like I'm putting together some of my favourite, you know, like classics almost. It's like, yeah, it's been, it's been really enjoyable. I still do We've got complete faith of Guy and Craig and whatever decision they're making, we're pretty sure is the right one. So we could just all relax and experiment and we knew we were in safe hands. The sun may glorify the heavens, but he never sees the stars. It's the thing I'm most proud of being involved with outside of my work with Elbow ever, I think, in my life. Out of boots, the same clown, the same shoe. Dog? Guy is one of these producers who's he's really good at keeping people's spirits up and you know keeping everyone you know sort of motivated. Um, I'm sort of sort of shuffling around in the background, getting the sounds together, and Guy sort of was is more sort of encouraging performances and that sort of side of thing and. Yeah, so it does work really well between us. Craig had us walking quite briskly up to the microphone from over there to about here while he recorded it. The sound of us walking towards the microphone. That's on the record somewhere. Above there are no stars tonight, just northern sky, reflected light upon your face. Is it the wettest place in Europe, Manchester? I think it might be. And there is, I, I certainly think, as when I was learning to play guitar, it was, you know, yeah, I was sat in my room with the rain coming against the window, and it was, it was atmospheric. It would, you know, there is a kind of melancholy uplift to a lot of music that comes from Manchester. And I think the rain has got something to do with it. Where shall we go on that big black night? Shall we take the coast road back through our lives? To be able to write string arrangements from my head and just sing them to people, that's one of them most fun parts, which is a great thing to be able to say when you're not a real musician like me. Do you fancy a drink? I know a place called The Brink. Do you want to go there? To The Brink is about going to uh, Big Hands and the Temple of Convenience in Manchester and staying too long and not really being able to leave even though you know you should. And, uh, and that is me. It's just so heartbreakingly honest. It's, it's just a real, um, like a lot of John's stuff, whether he realises it or not, there's a real sensitivity to anyone who's an outsider, anyone who feels alone in a crowded bar. You're the guy on the bus who's not quite one of us. You hear laughter. You're the guy on the bus that's not quite one of us, you hear laughter. It's possibly like one of the best lyrics I've ever heard. And it only felt right production-wise that we gave it a Sam Cooke classic string arrangement kind of sound, you know. As I say, John's songs belong in that canon. And he needs to be up there with those soul singers. So we gave it as classic a, a, an orchestral sound as we could. From your Song Fingerprints is a conversation between me and someone else. That someone else is, is an amalgam of, of people that I'm close to and people I love. It's not specifically any one person. And I'm saying, I guess that I've been singing all my life, well that's right, that's fine. 
but if heaven is a place upon your skin that I could touch with my mouth within, so that, that it means that, we, that there are ways we can reach each other. And then in the meantime, there are, there's people whose ideas are just what other people say. If heaven is a place upon your skin That I may have touched from without to within The lines, I guess, I've been singing all my life, bookend the song. One's with a kind of swingy, kind of almost jazzy, frothy thing going on, and the other one really is full of pathos, and unashamedly so. It does sound extremely downbeat. So it's almost as if the one, one person, the, the same person, the, the singer, is, is, uh, is saying, I guess I've been singing all my life, I don't really, you can do whatever you want, I'm not going to stop. I guess that I've been singing all my life. And the guy singing at the end, I guess that I've been singing all my life, is really almost feeling, sounding like, yeah, I, might, I might stop actually, maybe I have bloody had enough of this. <laughs> well, that's right. That is fine. It's very laid back, it's a little bit crazy, but it has great atmosphere all the way, all the way to the end. Like, you know, this whole thing, I've been trying to be deep here, but you know, it's all about showbiz, really. It's all just a, you know, like the Shakespeare, you know, the, the, the player who struts and frets his hour upon the stage. That's what life is. The loveliest of feelings is when you're in the middle of a record that you know is going to last forever. Because of the way we recorded it, and because of John's classic writing style, and because of the ethics of them, all three of them as musicians, pretty much from day one, we knew this was going to be an incredibly important record. And it's just, it's like having the best kept secret in the world. It's like a pretty unique situation that you end up working with your favourite band in the world, and they're also your favourite people in the world.